Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Edward and in today's video, I will be sharing my feedback on this wireless mobile gaming controller that's not only affordable, but also very versatile for your Android mobile gaming needs. This $29 Terios Gaming T12 Bluetooth controller might look like it's just like any other off-brand controller from the outside, but as the saying of not judging a game by its cover goes, watch on to find out why I think, in my opinion, that if you do pick one up, you will be getting more than what you're paying for. So thank you again Terios Gaming for sending over this review unit, and if you like what you see in today's video, feel free to check out their website in the link below, and the link to their Amazon product page in the description below. So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated, and let's clamp on to the details. I have previously reviewed a couple of other mobile gaming controllers which were great, but those were limited to work with games that officially support controllers by game, the game developers. So when Terios Gaming sent over the T12 wireless controller that will work with any mobile and PC game, I was more than excited to give it a try. My first impressions when unboxing the T12 wireless controller was that the packaging was fairly simple, with absolutely nothing fancy to the unboxing experience. But hey, any additional packaging costs will end up in increasing the price. Upon taking out the controller, the micro USB cable used for charging, and the very detailed user manual, I was surprised on how solid the controller felt. Weighing at 259.6 grams, the T12 is slightly lighter than the Xbox One controller, and measuring at 158 millimeters wide by 106 millimeters long, it is slightly larger than the Xbox One and Nintendo Switch Pro controller but still can easily fit into a small bag for on-the-go gaming. The plastic used on the controller itself feels very solid and not cheap, which is a good thing for a $29 price tag. And the side of the grip area are also textured to provide a better grip while gaming. The controller comes with 14 buttons, 10 which are your standard buttons, with two additional R3 and L3 buttons underneath the controller, one turbo on and one clear turbo button, and a decent D-pad. The clickable analog sticks are both very smooth with just the right amount of resistance and in my opinion are actually quite good for a controller at this price range. The buttons layout follow the Xbox controller layout but if you prefer both analog sticks on the bottom like a PlayStation DualShock controller, then Terios Gaming also offers that variation on their website. The centerpiece can be lifted up and will act as a spring-loaded clamp that will hold mobile phones up to 85mm wide. And although during this three week period, I haven't broken it yet, but being purely plastic and quite thin, it feels quite flimsy in my opinion, and I am afraid that the plastic on the clamp might break or crack as the plastic degrades over time. But other than that, you will also find a micro USB port used only for charging at the top, and a home button or power button, and a USB 2.4 GHz dongle for when you want to use this controller with your PC or PlayStation 3. Now, when it comes to setting up the Terios T12 wireless controller, I have to say that this is one complicated wireless Bluetooth controller to set up. The learning curve to get the controller working straight out of the box was high for me and took me about a week to figure out how everything works and properly use this controller. But the good news is, once you get the hang of it and figure out how everything works, it's a pretty versatile controller. Part of the reason it took me a while to figure things out is because the included manual only tells you how to pair the controller using the mode which relies on mapping on-screen touch controls to each button. And by default when using this mode, the controller will not function like a normal Bluetooth controller because of the presets on its onboard memory of uh, on-screen mappings being automatically activated. So it will not function properly with games that normally support um, Bluetooth controllers. So that's kind of like stumped me as I thought it could only be used with games that don't support controllers. But as it turns out, that in order to use this controller as a regular Bluetooth controller, you will need to switch on the controller by pressing X and Home, which I accidentally figured out, and pair it with your phone again as the phone will recognize it as a different Bluetooth controller. 
And while in this mode, you'll be able to use it like any other regular Bluetooth controller, which can now work with game streaming apps like Steam Link or PS Remote Play. And when you want to use it as a wireless PC gaming controller, you can also plug in the 2.4 GHz USB dongle and your computer will recognize it as a uh, Xbox controller. So having used the T12 wireless controller for almost a month now, I have to say that this is one versatile gaming controller. Not only is it an Android mobile gaming controller that allows you to map on-screen touch controls to its buttons to get that compat competitive advantage in games that don't officially support controllers, it can also be used as a general Bluetooth controller for games that do support it and also cloud gaming. When switching between games, switching the onboard presets was also as simple as pressing home plus up, down, left or right. And when first playing a game that does not have the presets listed in the app, mapping the buttons was also easy using the provided free app. On top of that, the buttons were responsive and the controller did not show any input latency issues, drifting analog sticks or random disconnections and was overall quite comfortable to game with for extended periods. Although I personally prefer a handheld console style controller for extended mobile gaming sessions, as this style tends to get top heavy and becomes harder to hold steady when your arms and wrists start to get tired. But when removing the phone and using the Terios T12 as a PC gaming controller, the weight was perfectly fine for extended gaming periods. And not forgetting to mention the battery life itself, it lasted around 14 hours on a full charge, so that's not bad at all. So in conclusion, at 29 US dollars, I think the Terios T12 wireless controller for mobile and PC gaming offers great value considering its multiple functionalities and build quality. So if you are currently in the market for a top clamp style Android gaming controller that won't break your wallet, I would definitely recommend considering the Terios T12. So thank you again Terios for sending over this review unit and thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it will help this channel a lot more than you know it and I'll see you again in the next video.